Advance Wars The Review. Hello, this is the Game Monkey 20, and welcome to a special Advance Wars well review video. Where since I'm finished with my basic let's play of Advance Wars, we will be starting the review. No one cares. So let's begin. This review should not take too long, so don't expect it to be long, but blah blah blah. So when you start the game, you have to first start playing with field training. Which basically uh, teaches you the basics of what the game is about. It shows you how to use different units, the strategy behind it, and all sorts of things like that. After completing field training, you start a campaign, which has about 20-22 um, missions, somewhere around that range. It depends on how well you do within the missions to actually become top notch. If, for example, that if for example you get you you'll get rankings but within the missions themselves you get sort of separate rankings where you can get from I believe it's C I don't think it's any lower than C to an S which is the top top score that you could get an S you have to get 100% on all three of the stats which is technique uh, power and speed which most of the time I got A's which which is fairly good because it may not seem like it, but you have to, sometimes you have to go really fast, sometimes you have to have good strategy, and it's not that my strategy was ever bad, but it wasn't ever the greatest. But within this game, though, besides the story mode, is you also have battle maps, which where you can buy all, si all types of battle maps with the coins that you get with in the game through the story. There's also an advanced campaign when you beat the full story. I think with, um... Either all A ranks or all S rings, but some high rank. And then you can do advanced campaign, which will get you more, more um, money for to buy battle maps, and it could also get you some more COs within the story that you could play as in the war room. You could also design your own maps. You could give other people your maps or play with somebody else using link mode. You could, four players can play also on a single system playing many different types of battles and of course there's the war room where you can play 20 extra missions that you have to buy within the battle map store and it's a fun thing and you could use every CO that you got and you can unlock more of course within the store and whatnot. Now the game's music is not really that amazing I mean it's definitely more better in well, it's definitely better in the future Advanced Wars games because there's a little bit more variety. But each each enemy CO has their own uh, unique has has their own unique sort of battle music when when their turn comes up within the game. They also also each character is unique in their own way, and it's just a pretty good um, decent strategy game from Nintendo. <coughs> That's fail for review. Anyway, this is definitely a fun game. I had fun playing it, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, I would also recommend the other Advance Wars games, because they are all pretty good. As long as you like strategy, like this kind of strategy game, I'm sure you will have fun times. i like to thank you for watching, and uh, I'm going to honestly rate this game... I'm going to say an 8 out of 10 because it's good but there could but like definitely you see a lot more improvements in the future in the future games but there is a lot to do within this game so that's a big plus <clears throat> but you could definitely tell it was their first game cuz there's a couple things that were just a little unrefined but nothing too serious definitely a game with checking out and uh, I'll be back with it a little bit later to battle maps well, war room maps. I'm not going to review anything about that, but see you guys then. Thanks for watching. 8 out of 10. Goodbye.